All right, I am back again with a very rare Periscope broadcast. I used to do these every day, but they were super boring, and also it chews through uh, data like, a, like a, a tornado through a trailer park. It's crazy. So uh, I do this very occasionally, but this is a special occasion because this river is completely dry. So we're going to wander down it and see what sort of trash we can find in it. You can see there the bridge I built uh, when there's actually water here. I got too lazy to walk around, so I put a bunch of stones here to jump across, but right now they are pretty pointless. I am back, Donna Matrix. Hello, hello. For my biannual Periscope broadcast. Hello, K-Saint. This would probably be a very good place to find Pokemon, I bet. Some sort of water Pokemon down here, or maybe just some kind of real monster. I don't know, but we'll see if we can find some trash, maybe some uh, some old barbed wire, get some tetanus. It'll be a good time. Well, hello from the Philippines. It is a long way away. I imagine your wilderness is much more exciting than here. See if I can avoid twisting an ankle through the rock debris. No dead bodies yet, surprisingly. All the times I've come out here, not a single corpse. I think I've really probably let you all down on that count. All right, let's see here. We got some mud. That'll look awesome when I go back inside. Well, thank you. I appreciate your low standards. Jump through here. All right, I did not come here for parkour. I'm not sure how I'm going to get through this. The mole, that is true, we did find a dead mole once. That was about as exciting as it got here. That and a puffball mushroom, you can't see this. I'm teetering backwards precariously. My first attempt to clear the brush pile was unsuccessful. Let's try again. Whoa, my foot sank way down there. <laughs> this would be easier if I had two hands, you know, went through this like a person, but I have to hold my phone to attention whore because if you're not going to attention whore, what's the point? Honestly, not a big fan of all this wilderness. My ideal walk would be like a parking lot in the shade. Right now there's way too much green, everything's alive. <laughs> Where are the kids? All right, let's keep going through here. Still no corpses. There was, I thought I saw, so there's a bridge up here and walking over the bridge the other day, I thought I saw something down here at the bottom. There's like a bike or something, like a three wheel bike. I don't even know if I can get through it to it though. Some kind of engine. Who throws an engine in a river? This guy, apparently. This guy threw an engine in the river. Let's go take a look. It's like I am crouched all the way over. I'm not meant to bend like this. Let's poke this thing with a stick. What is this? It's, a, it's like a fan. All bent to hell. Some sort of giant whirling fan rotor. It's like a good way to lose some fingers. Not sure it's quite so aerodynamic anymore. Probably going to live that one there. That's going to... That would be a, a bit heavy to carry back. Also tetanus, not sure if my shots are up to date. All right, there's the bridge. <laughs> I could fire it, I might break a thousand on this, that's crazy. It's a one-time deal though. People tune, tune into this one time and they're like, okay, that was a waste, never going back to that. That's okay, for the one moment. The river, <laughs> I am standing in what used to be the river. It is currently dry. I know the thing implies I have some kind of boat. I do not. Just got hit with a spider web in the place. Why the hell would a spider make a web on a river? I don't know. All right, here we go. Somebody had one hell of a bike crash. I, look at this thing. I would like to believe that they didn't throw it in here broken. Like this was a complete bike and somebody was like trying to jump off the bridge or something and just did not stick the landing. Look at that, it's bent like the... <laughs> I don't even know what angle that is. It's almost a 360 degree angle. It doubled all the way back around to where it started. I know, you think I can ride this thing? It looks kind of rideable. Oh, that's heavy. That is a lot of mud. It's a good looking bike. Probably refurbish that. I do not know what uh, Sutri is. I will take your word for it. Spiders are monsters. All right. It's got one, this is an old timey bike. It's got a seat that actually looks kind of comfortable with tons of padding. That is unexpected. The pedals still turn? No, <laughs> it, is, it is rusted rather solid. Do I talk now? What's the point of, you're watching Periscope, isn't the point to talk? Do you want me to seriously broadcast nature silently? Is that what we're here for, a silent nature walk? There's gotta be a, a monk who's taken a, a vow of silence somewhere to do that. But just, <laughs> How's it going, night work sucks? That's probably an accurate statement as well. All right, we're gonna double back through here. See if I missed anything on the way out. What am I doing? I am walking in a dry riverbed, trying semi-successfully not to twist an ankle. I don't know what that means, but okay. Let's see here. Some moss, that's pretty exciting. Very green. Could go hit it with a stick, but I'm not going to. 
some ferns. This is a super high embankment on these sides. There's, I've, I've been up there. It's, uh, I don't know why there's all this random concrete. It's all over. <laughs> you know, I'd be the guy to drown in a puddle. I'll find like one spot of water and trip and drown in it. That'd be one hell of a way to go. I've always said I'm going to be the first person to die live on Periscope. We'll see if I can pull it off. Oh, well, now that I say that, I think it's actually happened. So as, as always, I'm late to the party. <laughs> yeah. And no beavers, not a single beaver. Beavers are lazy. Also, I don't know if they're in Indiana. They are kind of monsters. They're giant dams of sticks, though. I think they fell there on their own. Someone's leg sticking out of the bush. Now, I'm curious. <laughs> Did I miss a leg? Because I feel like that's kind of important. I would have liked to have stopped for a leg. There's a random, looks like a wrapper for a water bottle container. Styrofoam cup. I'm going to go with no leg. Maybe you're over here. No, I'm going to go ahead and officially declare this dry riverbed 100% severed leg free. So, I was, uh, I got my hopes up there for a second. If you guys do see a severed leg, please let me know, though. I will definitely stop for that. All right, let's see if I can make it over this brush from the other side. Hello from France. I'm glad to see people there are just as bored as people in America. All right, I'm clearing this with almost ease. What the hell is that? That's a spider web in there. Why would a... This is usually covered with water. Why would a spider build there? I guess they just go everywhere. I hate spiders. I don't think they, I think their sole purpose is just to hit me in the face with webs. I don't think they actually eat bugs or do anything else. They exist just to antagonize me. There's a huge divot. If I did have to hide a body, not saying that I would, that'd probably be a pretty good space for it. Just drop some rocks on top of it, it'd be good to go. Hey, Iowa, I drove through there. Last month, not last month, 4th of July weekend, I drove up through there. I get no cell reception at all in the state of Iowa. It is amazing. A statewide dead zone. You guys should probably upgrade and get electricity or something. All right, we're almost back out of the woods. I have lost half of the people watching this broadcast. That's a, a remarkable achievement even for me. I imagine my Twitter follower count will plummet as a result. This is yet another reason why I do not do this very often. Hey, look at that. There's some water. A tiny, tiny bit of water. Also, no gold. All right. I think that concludes today's broadcast. I will see you all when I do this again in like six more months.